Yo, what's up guys here? It is GTA Pups here and welcome back to another brand new GTA video. In today's video, we're actually going to be talking about some more news that has been going around regarding this GTA Trilogy Remastered rumor that has been, you know, speculating this whole GTA community over uh, this February month and what new information we have learned and more, so let's get right into today's video. So as I look at the GTA forums, you know, YouTube, Twitter, whatever you want to say, again, I've been seeing a lot of stuff about this GTA uh, trilogy, you know, rumor going around. Again, it just started about a few weeks ago, and then the community has just been rushing about it and such. While well, the other day, actually, Insider Tez Funds 2 actually changed his uh, Twitter banner to this. And it says Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, and basically has three characters. Going from uh, left is uh, GTA 3 character, the middle's the Vice City character, and then the one on the right is the uh, GTA San Andreas character. And again, a lot of people were going crazy at this banner because, as you know, when something comes up, usually when you're leaking something, a lot of like Rockstar insiders are going to, or a lot of them do, change their banner. So a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, this is basically a clarity to people that this remastered is coming out, but we just don't know when the release date might be, or probably what everybody's waiting for, the announcement. And when I saw this, I actually was like freaking out also, but then when I saw it live, I couldn't, because on my end, it looks like Tez Funds 2 has now changed it back over to his original Red Dead posting, so that is pretty, you know, weird on that, that he didn't keep that one up. Also, uh, Ted's Funds 2 actually responded to someone on the GTA forum site of the guy saying, what's your explanation? Probably regarding to that Twitter banner change. And he said, I felt Najalik might delete later moment. So I don't know what he's trying to mean, what felt Najalik might delete later moment was. I'm pretty sure the might delete later moment was when he decided, okay, well, I'm going to keep this picture uh, on the screen on Twitter for a couple hours and then take it off. Maybe even like 20, 30 minutes that soon. So again, I'm not sure what he's trying to tell this person as well. Also, another retired Rockstar leaker slash insider the other day actually changed his Twitter banner to something. And it wasn't actually Vice City, San Andreas, or GTA 3. It was actually the bridge in Liberty City, GTA 4. And again, a lot of people were speculating why Yan did this himself. Again, this is isn't one of those games that is supposed to be in the rumored trilogy remastered, but was Yan just sort of giving a little hint as well on his little moment. And actually, someone responded or asked him on the GTA forum site. They said on Yan's Twitter has a famous bridge as a background. And Ted changed his to GTA Trilogy banner, but is now already changed back again. If this counts as a hint for soonish announcement, etc. And Yan basically says, Mine is just a screenshot I took in Liberty City. I was just looking for something new to use as my banner, not a hint or anything. So again, a little suspicious of what Yan was trying to do. It sounds like he just wanted to, you know, change his banner to something else. But again... He probably knew that a lot of people were going to ask him because of this trilogy rumor going around as, like, wildfire right now. So, again, guys, you can take this with, like, a grain of salt of anything. You know, I just know from the past that usually, you know, insiders like this will change their, uh, you know, banner to something that they know something is coming out. Mainly, like, a new game announcement or something big is approaching. And then, you know, change it back. Again, Rockstar did this for the past for their GTA games. Uh, they did it for Red Dead Redemption also. They, you know, they changed their logo, their banner, and everything for that. So, again, it's not something odd that someone would do. At least insiders do it. And then, you know, big gaming companies do it as well. So, it's just something not traditional. So, again, guys, we'll have to see if these insiders, you know, change their banners to something else. Moving more forward, maybe even a speculation date in their banner. 
would be awesome. Maybe get people fired up to when an announcement's coming. Because of now, when I'm recording this, we have no idea when an announcement's coming, like a newswire, what Rockstar could do in the upcoming days. Again, nothing has been, you know, leaked or rumored out. So, again, we're just going to have to keep our eyes peeled on, you know, like the internet or YouTube, Twitter, GTA forum site or whatever is going on. Speaking of the GTA forum site, it looks like this GTA trilogy remastered rumor has been going around for a year now. That's right. It just didn't start like a couple weeks ago. It looks like it has been going on for quite some time, like I said a year ago, and is actually someone a moderator on the GTA forum site named Rhoda. He actually posted these three pictures on March 11th all at once. It was a picture of uh, GTA 3 with a little funny, you know, face on it. You had this uh, Vice City one with another weird face on it. And then San Andreas had another weird face on it. And it seems to be suspicious why someone would like do this you know it's kind of weird that you would post you know three gta's at once like sort of making it hey now we think it's like a tr trilogy because again the news has been going around so that is pretty weird that someone had noticed that of him doing this and again he didn't comment on it i was looking on the gta forum site and again a lot of people were confused back on march 11th 2020 but test funds do actually responded to this on the gta forum site back on august 6th 2020 and he basically said to someone chill with them leaks and as you can see on the bottom of this thread you can see that there was an error code uh, with these leaks how it got you know uh, you know flagged with chill with them leaks I'm guessing but as you can see the error code it basically has the years that GTA 3 came out GTA Vice City and then GTA San Andreas so that is pretty odd as well that all these like rumored leaks hints are just coming out at us like crazy and how this is just like feels like magic almost so again guys we're just gonna have to keep an eye on you know the internet or whatever as i said before of these leaks because again it is basically getting crazy in the gta community because you know a lot of things are just coming out at once a lot of people leaking stuff again as I said, there's even a GTA Forums Trilogy Remastered, uh, you know, speculation page that has been up and running, and a lot of people are just talking about that on there and such. So, again, guys, if any more news on this, you know, remastered version rumor comes out trilogy, again, I'll be sure to update you guys on that. But, again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Pupser channel for more videos like this. My name is Pup here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.